Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time, we're going to talk about stoichiometry, determining the formula of an unknown compound. So to start with, let us compare three common types of formula using hydrogen peroxide as an example. So first is the molecular formula. It is the actual number of atoms of each element in a molecule. The molecular formula of hydrogen peroxide is so the second one, empirical formula. It shows the lowest whole numbers of moles and thus the relative numbers of atoms of each element in the compound. Thus the empirical formula is HO. So number three, th the third one, structural formula. It is the relative placement and connection of atoms in the molecule. The structural formula is in this video, we are more concerned in determining the empirical and molecular formula. Now, these are the step-by-step -step process in finding the empirical formula. Number 1. Determine the mass or gram of each component element. Number 2. Convert each mass gram to amount, mole, and write a preliminary formula. Number 3. Convert the amount or mole mathematically to whole number or integer subscripts to accomplish this math conversion you need to divide each subscript by the smallest subscript and if necessary multiply through by the smallest integer that turns all subscripts into integers now let us try an example analysis of a sample of an ionic compound yields 2.82 gram of sodium 4.35 gram of chlorine and 7.83 gram of oxygen what is the empirical formula and the name of the compound so number one determine the mass of each element number two convert mass gram to amount mole So now we have number 3. Convert the amount mole to whole number. Divide each subscript by the smallest subscript. We do not need to multiply by any number to make all subscripts whole number because we can round off 3.98 to 4 so we have or hence the empirical formula is and its name is sodium perchlorate so let's go through the another example during excessive physical activity lactic acid forms in muscle tissue and is responsible for muscle soreness Elemental analysis shows that this compound contains So now the questions are Determine the empirical formula of lactic acid and determine the molecular formula So we have Determine the mass of each element We are given mass percent of each element We need to assume that the lactic acid is 100 gram so that we can express the mass percent of each element in grams Hence we have in the same way, H equals 6.71 gram and oxygen equals 53.3 gram. The molecular weight of each element are as follows. Now, second step, convert mass to amount mole. So we have Okay, third step, convert the amount mole to whole number. Divide each subscript by the smallest subscript. We have subscripts that are already integers, so there is no need to multiply it by any integer. So we now have the empirical formula. The molecular formula subscripts are whole number multiples of the empirical formula subscripts. To find this multiple, we divide the given molar mass by the empirical formula mass which we find from the sum of the elements molar masses 
the empirical formula mass is 30.03 gram per mole. Finding the whole number multiple we have, then we multiply each subscript in the empirical formula by the multiple. So we now have the molecular formula. Okay, so that's it. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. <music>